It has been a busy week for the blue side of Glasgow, with the games coming thick and fast. Whilst we don't play until the weekend, there is still some more news to discuss around the football club. In today's video, we'll discuss all the latest Rangers news from the last 24 hours. That of course includes the Ryan Kent replacement that a Rangers expert has seen. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video, as always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Rangers have appointed James Taylor as the club's new chief finance officer. A club statement confirmed Taylor, who has almost 20 years of experience, will take up the role at Ibrox from September 1st. Taylor, who is from Glasgow, will join Rangers from leading UK hospitality solutions provider Zonal, where he has served as a CFO. He's previously worked as a chief finance officer or finance director at Mastercard and Yayo. Taylor does have a connection to Scottish football through his father, David, who worked as the Scottish FA chief executive and UEFA general secretary. On his new role, Taylor commented, I am honoured to be joining the new executive team here at Rangers Football Club as chief finance officer, and I'm looking forward to supporting the delivery of the strategic vision that James Beersgrove and the board have for our club. Being from Glasgow, I'm actually aware of just how much this club means to our supporters and how our incredible heritage of success. I truly believe that we are firmly on the upward trajectory and with the successful execution of our strategic vision, we have the potential to become one of the leading clubs in European football. It is exciting to be a part of this journey and I can't wait to get started. James Bisgrove added, On behalf of the chairman John Bennett and the board of directors, I'm delighted to officially welcome James to Rangers. James will be an integral member of our executive management team where he will lead the finance operations and will have an integral role in driving our club's strategy moving forward. It is crucial that Rangers continues to grow revenues, control costs and remain profitable as a part of our commitment to the board and our investors to operate the football club in a financially sustainable manner. The financial performances of Rangers will directly correlate to on-pitch performance and I'm confident James' vast experience and track record will play an integral role in achieving the success this club supporters demand. I would like to thank James Gow, our Interim Finance Director, for his invaluable support in this transition period and look forward to continuing to welcome at Ibrox. Just a quick one guys, before we get into today's video, we have dropped our brand new August collection. We've got the Surrender or You'll Die BB t-shirts, along with the Glasgow Rangers Union Jack tees. If you want to shop the new collection, go down into the link in the description, or go to rfcclothing.com. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Rami Matondo has been back to return to the Rangers starting lineup. Speaking exclusively to Football Insider, Former Rangers defender Alan Hutton has been impressed by Matondo's recent performances for the Light Blues and has likened him to Ryan Kent. The 22-year-old started his first game for the Glasgow club since November 2022 in our 2-1 League Cup victory over Greenock Morton. Matondo was included in the squad for Wednesday's Champions League playoff game against PSV Hindhoven, where he came off of the bench to score Rangers' second goal and help keep the title square for the away leg next week. Michael Beale named heavily changed side for the game against Morton on Saturday, including youngster and B-team star Johnny Idefeco. When asked who impressed at the weekend, Hutton told Football Insider, Matondo for me. I was at the game, I thought he deserved the opportunity to start. When he came on against Livingston, he was excellent. He gives you something different that Rangers didn't really have at the moment since they got rid of Ryan Kent. He has got the ability to drive at people and take people on, and I was glad to see him included in the European squad for the PSV game, and I think he deserved it. I really do think he could be the Ryan Kent replacement. The winger joined the club last summer from Schalke and put pen to paper on a six-year deal with Rangers, but has found a place in the starting lineup difficult to come by. Dutch World Cup legend Willy van der Kerkhoff reckons PSV Hindhoven don't deserve to be in the Champions League if they can't beat a team like Rangers. Michael Beale's side travelled to the Netherlands next week to face PSV in the playoffs with the tie balanced after a 2-2 first leg draw. The former PSV and Dutch international van der Kover, who played in the two World Cup finals for the Netherlands in 1974 and 1978, reckons PSV will complete the job in Eindhoven. He said if PSV don't qualify against a team like Rangers, then they'd have no right to be in the group stages of the Champions League. I think the fact that they have had the weekend off will help the players because they should never have lost those two goals in Glasgow. They need to cut out the mistakes. Jordan Teze, in particular, had a poor evening. Peter Bozze says there is more to come from him, but I'm curious to know what it is. PSV were punished for the mistakes by Rangers. They have a lack of quality defensively and they need reinforcements. 
But really, they should be able to finish Rangers off next week at home. There is no excuse not to. Tom Lawrence yesterday stepped up his recovery from a long-term injury with his first start in over a year. The midfielder made an appearance in the Rangers B team with a win over Hamilton Academicals. The game finished 4-2 to Rangers B and the Wales International even got on the score sheet. His last competitive showing for Rangers came for the first team on August 27th last year as Giovanni von Braunkorst's man defeated Ross County 4-0. Yesterday, Cole McKinnon netted a brace while Ross McClosland scored the other goal at the Rangers training centre. As well as Lawrence being afforded the opportunity to get some vital minutes under his belt and to gain some match sharpness, Leon King also played alongside Johnny Lefeco. Kieran Wright started in goals with Adam Javine and Robbie Fraser in fullback roles. Scotland Youth International Bailey Rice started with Aaron Lyle and McKinnon making up the three man midfield. Lawrence then accompanied Josh McPake and McCausland up top. The 29-year-old will be hoping to build up on the performance by gaining more minutes before breaking back into the first team. He was understandably left out of Michael Beale's European squad for the Champions League playoff round against PSV, so he won't be involved next Wednesday night, but he could feature versus Ross County in the Highlands on Saturday. In other news, Namdi Offerball has left Rangers Football Club. The midfielder who joined Rangers at the start of the 2021-2022 season has opted to pursue a career elsewhere. Everyone at Rangers wishes Namdi all the very best for the luck for the future, is what a club statement said. Offerball signed a four-year pre-contract with Rangers in February 2021. However, he was unable to make any appearance for the club after a serious heart issue was discovered following his move to Glasgow. Michael Beale previously admitted he had high hopes for Offerball when the player signed while he was serving as a part of the Steven Gerrard's backroom team. But Offerball's career in Glasgow failed to take off for the 23-year-old unable to feature in any matchday squad for the club in his two-year spell in Glasgow through heart complications. Earlier this year, Offerball had blasted mistreatment of his health condition after two operations on hundreds of appointments and a bid to correct the issue. And the player was sent to a third specialist this year while he completed light training sessions at Akinawi. He had posted on Instagram, two years, two operations, hundreds of appointments. A second message read, silent on the situation so I look like the bad guy. All the mistreatment of the last two years will come out. Commenting on Offerboard's situation in March, Bill said, Listen, it's a really personal matter, that one. Obviously, Namdi is a boy that we signed originally from Bournemouth, and I was here in and around the scouting of the signing of Namdi. Rangers fans, what are your thoughts on Matondo and do you think he can live up to the expectations and be Ryan Kent's replacement? Yes or no? Let me know down there in the comment section below. That does bring us to the end of today's video. As always, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Remember, we do have Rangers t-shirts available on our website, so do browse that collection by going down into the link in the description or go to rfcclothing.com. Thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Peace.